why I think Clubhouse will not be the next big thing. What's happening? It's Eric J. Olson. A couple of weeks ago, I came on the podcast and I said that I had bought an iPhone, which is unusual for me because I love my Google Pixel phone. This thing is awesome, powerful, 500 bucks, integrates with all my everything. Amazing phone. And I've been off of the Apple ecosystem 100% for the last six months, uh, but I haven't had an iPhone for, uh, I don't even know how long now, probably like five years. Like uh, when it comes right down to it, uh, uh, an Apple phone, an Android phone, they're, they're basically the same thing, but they're a little different. The reason that I got an iPhone, an old iPhone, is because I wanted to try out a brand new social media app called Clubhouse. If you are not familiar with Clubhouse, it is an audio only social media platform, which is a different kind of thing. But a lot of the people that I've kind of interact with, they're all talking about, oh, Clubhouse is so cool. I get so much good information from it. If you're not on it, you got to check it out. Well, I checked it out on my Android phone and it's not on Android yet. So when they rolled it out, they rolled it out to just Apple and the iPhone. And you have to have an Apple device in order to get on it. I didn't have that. But as a digital marketer, I wanted to play with it because if that's the next big thing, then it's an opportunity for me to get on there, establish my presence, and start doing whatever you do on Clubhouse. So I got the phone, and I, I spent a couple of hours on it the first night that I had that iPhone, and I was listening into these conversations, and these conversations are going on for like hours. Uh, so it's usually a few people that host a conversation, and then others can listen in, and then kind of like a uh, kind of like a web meeting, you can you can invite people in and then you can, you know, they have like, they could be like, they could talk and then you can say, okay, you can't talk anymore. But you have this uh, small group of people that are actually moderating the conversation. And so I, I just listened in and that was about two to three weeks ago. I listened in for a couple of hours. I listened to a bunch of different conversations, got the gist of what's going on, but I haven't been back. And here's why I haven't been back with clubhouse. It's a, it's an, it's an active social media uh, requirement. And what I mean by that is like with, with social media, you know, Instagram, I, I can go on my phone, um, I, you know, give me, give me 30 seconds of downtime. Boom. I can be on Instagram. I can scroll. I can see some stuff and then I can get out in and out in 30 seconds, in and out in two minutes, right? Facebook, same way, Twitter, same way, like in and out. And then also I can have like my, my team, they can be posting for me, right? So this, this video podcast right here gets turned into an audio podcast. Uh, but I can't take this content and use it on Clubhouse. I can take the video content and I can use it on LinkedIn, Instagram, wherever I want on normal social media. But on this new social media, audio only, it's live, which requires time and energy. And I don't have time and I'm not going to make time during the day so that I can just kind of like hang out in the Clubhouse. <laughs> and on the weekends or nights, like I'm just not interested in doing that. You know, I'm training for a half Ironman. I've got other goals. And the last thing I want to do is be cooped up for two hours on a Monday night or a Friday night or whenever on the weekends talking about whatever I wanted to talk about on Clubhouse. So like, I, I don't, I don't have the time in. And I know that's a, that's a lame excuse that a lot of people use, but in this case with Clubhouse, it literally does require your time and active participation. You have to dedicate the time. And that is the most valuable commodity that every one of us has is time. And so the ask of Clubhouse is that you have to give up your most valuable, precious, and finite resource, your time, in order to be on that. I mean, I already get crap from people about being on social media, you know, and that's just me in and out in two minutes or whatever. But imagine if I spent two hours, like, I'd have to... I have to not take legit meetings for my business or not interact with my family for an hour or two to be on Clubhouse. I'm not going to do it. It's too big of an ask. We are attention deficit in this world right now, and they are asking for you to give that most valuable resource time and attention. So my big prediction is that Clubhouse is a fad. It is not a trend. Uh, Twitter has come out with, what do they call it, spaces, I believe. 
their version of Clubhouse. I'm sure it'll be copied by Instagram because Instagram is just a big copycat application of features from other social media. They'll probably come out with something like Clubhouse. But um, yeah, I think it's a fad. And fads pass. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, How to Launch a Seven-Figure Business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes. And all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.